right, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use differences to determine the degree. That means we are given a table of values and we know we have a polynomial, but we don't know anything else about it. Um, we don't have to graph this to determine the degree. What we have to do is find what is known as a, as some books call them common differences or just differences. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to actually take um, and find the difference. As in, take the one from the larger x value minus the one just before it, the point before it. Now, we're not subtracting x values, we subtract the y values. So that means I am going to take negative 7 minus 9. That is going to give me negative 16. Then I'm going to take 9 minus 11. That is going to give me negative 2. Then I will take 11 minus 5, and that is going to give me um, 6. Then I will take 5 minus negative 3. Double negative becomes a plus, and so that gives me 8. Then I take my negative 3 minus negative 7. Double negative becomes a plus. That gives me 4. And then negative 7 minus negative 1. The double negative becomes a plus. Negative 7 minus 1 gives me negative 6. Now, if all of these first set of differences were the same number, we would say this were linear. See, this is our first differences. Okay. I'll abbreviate that. Now, to tell if it's quadratic, we need to find the second differences. If the second differences are all the same, it will be a quadratic function. So I take negative 16 minus negative 2. The double negative becomes a plus, and I get negative 14. Then I take negative 2 minus 6. That gives me negative 8. Then I take 6 minus 8 and that gives me negative 2. Then I take 8 minus 4, that gives me 4. And then last I take 4 minus negative 6, the double negative becomes a plus, and that gives me 10. These are my second differences. You notice they are not the same. So that means this is not a degree of 2, so it is not a quadratic. And I'm going to change color so these all didn't look so much alike. Now we're going to find our third differences to see is this cubic. Negative 14 minus negative 8. The double negative becomes a plus, and I get negative 6. Then I take negative 8 minus negative 2, the double negative becomes a plus, and I get negative 6. Then I take negative 2 minus 4, and I get negative 6. And last, I take 4 minus 10, I get negative 6. You notice my third difference is are all the same number, negative 6. So what does that tell me? It tells me that this function is degree of 3 because the third differences were the same. So degree. Now if we were classifying this, degree of 3 means we have a cubic function.
I think that's pretty cool, really. So, pretty awesome. Does this work every time? Yes, it does. If you have a linear function, your first differences will be the same number. If you have a quadratic function, the second differences would be the same number. If you have a cubic function, your third differences would be the same number. If you had a quartic function, it would be the fourth differences that would be the same. Or a quintic function would have the fifth differences, the same number. That is pretty cool. Alrighty, have a wonderful day.